Hey everybody, this is Richard again here at the Car Barn in Hurricane, Utah. Today I'm driving a 2006. This is a Nissan Titan XE. This is the extended cab four-wheel drive model. We're going to pull over up here, take a look at the features of this, the benefits of it, maybe point out a few little flaws on the vehicle. As always here at the Car Barn, we want to do videos on vehicles so that you're traveling from out of town, out of state, or just up the street and want to know about a vehicle uh, we want to be totally transparent in what we know about a vehicle so that you can buy with confidence here at the car barn so we're going to find a spot right up here and uh, pull over and take a look at it but as we're driving i'll just point out of a few of the things that i know uh, and uh, like about the vehicle got a great awesome amount of power this is the 5.7 liter v8 motor it is four wheel drive Seems to run and drive really, really well. Shifts good as we get on it. You can, uh, going up a pretty good hill here. Plenty of good, good power. Just feels nice and tight, solid. You know that the uh, Nissan quality trucks, uh, they do well. Uh, just a nice, tight, solid ride. So we're gonna pull over right up here, at the top of this hill. And uh, as I'm going, I do wanna point out so this has got a really cool stereo in it with a it's got uh, a lot of songs let's say stored in the system here i'm not a real stereo expert so i don't know all the bells and whistles on it but uh, it's got a great sound to it and lots of songs that are already into this uh, unit so we're going to pull over up here and take a look at the rest of it heat air conditioning both work really well four wheel drive buttons are down below uh, it does have a tow mode button down there as well as a manual shift mode here on the shift column and uh, looks like a good spot right here out of the way Let's stop and take a look at the rest as you can see four wheel drive shifts right here and four high and four low and, uh, let's take a look at this um, like I said we do want to point out flaws as well as features and benefits so that you uh, you know as much about the truck as we do so we're gonna do that as well point those things out um, as we get out where we get some room to look you can see this is a little more of the base model the XE roll-up windows for those of you who just want a good solid work truck or something that might be good that you have less things that can go wrong you're into four-wheeling and whatnot a good hunting truck Got some added features on the side here. The cargo lamp for the rear. And just some added buttons here, none of them actually are using. Uh, it does have some flaws in the seats. Got some wear here that can be repaired. Just haven't done that yet. Uh, some of these things are things that can be done. If you want to save a little money, we can leave them the way they are. Well, it looks like it's got two cigarette burns here. It does not smell like a smoker truck, so I don't know if maybe just sometime somebody he used it a few times it was a smoker. This uh, center bench here, console if you want to call it, got some glue or something on there. It does have the seats here for six, so that's kind of nice. The rest of the interior seems to be in really good shape. It's, uh, it's open in the back here. Back seats are in really good shape. Let's have the sliding rear window. And then I want to point out in the overhead console above, one of these little drop down uh, pieces, if you will, is missing. And then on the front is missing. So again, um, things that may be not a big issue to some of you, if you're looking for just a good solid work truck that runs, drives and shifts well. And then the one of the lights here you can see is missing as well. Some of these are things you might be able to pick up really cheap at a junkyard uh, as an option as well. Okay. Take a look at the other side of the truck. And then we're going to go around the rest of it. It does have a bed liner in it. Looks like it's in fairly good shape. Got some wear, obviously, but no big uh, dents uh, or anything obvious that would be a big problem. And then going around the other side, we can look at the interior on this truck first. As you can see from this side, really good shape. And uh, back door is kind of nice. This is really a cool feature. Ford finally picked up on this, but Nissan's had it for a while. Look how far back these back doors open. 
So you need to get these doors up and out of the way. This is pretty darn cool. And Nissan's been doing that for a while, actually. So pretty cool there. And we're gonna shut that door. Tires are in excellent, excellent shape all the way around matching tires and wheels. Uh, hopefully you don't have too much glare here. We're gonna start pointing out the, uh, if you want the features and flaws as well. On the outside of the truck, nice looking truck. Um, it is the extended cab. So not quite as roomy as the crew, but definitely a lot of room in there. A little surprising. Um, if we go back this way, pointing out a few little things. Looks like you got a little bit of a dent right there in the bed. Again, this is just going to be a nice, solid work truck for somebody. Great hunting truck. Not expecting it to be perfect, so we don't mind pointing those things out to you. On the, uh, call it the rear tail light. This is a piece that's just come off, I'm, a, I'm a guessing, but not sure how long that's been missing. Going around the back, overall, it's got some scuffs, some dings, scratches, but nothing uh, that's going to make it less drivable, less dependable. And then going down this side, actually in pretty good shape. I'm sure you've got some little dents and dings here and there. Um, I'll point out a few that are standing out in my eyes. Got a few in the top here. And then one right there. Back up to get a little perspective on that though. Not bad. And uh, then you got the scuff down here in the bumper. It does have the LED driving lights down below on both sides. I've not tried those yet, but I'm guessing they work. So overall, just a good solid running truck. Mechanics are the thing we're really looking at mostly on some of these trucks. That you know you got a vehicle that runs and drives well. Everything else is visible and you can decide whether that's something you want the way it is, save a little bit of money or not. If you need financing, definitely go to barnloan.com. Just submit your information to us and we can usually get answers for you 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, if you have questions, you can call us at 435-215-7362. This is Richard again at the Car Barn. Appreciate you watching. Have a good day. Bye.